Hi guys, my name is Compton Harry and welcome to the channel. Let's go. In today's video, I'm gonna be shooting headshots on location. We're gonna be shooting three different looks using one light. Um, for our light today, I'm gonna be using a Godox AD200 and that's paired with a Pixar Pro 105 cm rice ball. That's a white rice ball with a white interior. It's also double diffuse. For our camera and lens, I'm gonna be using my Sony A7 IV and that's paired with the Tamron 70 to 180. I'm gonna be at 180 simply because I prefer that sort of compressed look when it comes to my portraits and my headshots. Um, and that's gonna compress the background and it also looks better for people's faces as well. Um, I do have a monitor on here, but this is just so that we can actually see what we're doing. And I'm triggering the light using a Godox X-T1 trigger for Sony. So that's gonna trigger a light. So guys, I just wanted to quickly jump in and let you guys know that I was also using a ND filter on this particular shoot. And what that enables me to do is actually shoot below my camera sync speed. But ideally you don't need to if you're using the Godox, but if you were using any sort of speed light that doesn't have high speed capability, having something like an ND filter will come in clutch. So I was using a variable ND filter from KNF. Um, it was also a very cloudy day, so technically didn't need the ND filter, but I just wanted there just for peace of mind and knowing that I'm getting the perfect exposure that I want in camera and then i'm using the Godox ad 200 to actually light natasha but yeah that's basically what i was trying to explain in this part of the video but my um my audio wasn't sync so yeah this is what we were talking about also using a pop-up backdrop that is white on this side and then we'll flip it around and show you the black side as well and for our fill light we are using a five in one reflector which our model today Natasha is modeling for us. So yeah, this is what we get with this setup. Super simple and super effective. So let's go ahead and take some shots. So let's come over a little bit and make sure that's straight. No, this, this went wonky. There we go. And it's also raining. <laughs> so one, two, three. Shot. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, yeah. Oh, I just love that. A little tilt. So do the little feet thing for me, good. God, just love that. Hey. Hey guys. It's also important to note that with headshots, you want to keep it from about the chest upwards. Um, anything below that is a portrait. It's that simple. Um, but where you frame your headshots, it's entirely up to you. You can go in the middle, the right third or the left third. Um, what you want to do is try and keep your subject's head either in the top third of the frame or roughly around the middle. So that is also important to note. Um, but yeah, that was our white backdrop setup done. Let's flip it to black now and show you guys what that looks like with a black setup. Yeah, same thing again. But this time, I want you to come. So come over that a little, good right there. And I'll bring this back as well. One, two, three. Good luck. So this time now, what I want you to do is think. So go with the, like that, but lean. Lean into it a little bit for us, right? And too much, too much, come back a little bit. Swing the shoulder around, so swing, swing, right there. Beautiful. And just a tad bit right there. Beautiful, love that. Mm -hmm. 
and it starts to rain. At least it's right? Yeah. And then do the one where you and then lean into it for me. Perfect. Lift it. Too much, too much. Bring it back a little bit. Swing your nose towards that way. No sit, good right there, good. And then a little tilt that way. Right, perfect, hold up for me. Too much, too much, come back a tad bit. Right there, hold up. I'll feather that out a little bit that way. Good. Just a smidgen. Right there, right there, good, right there. Beautiful. Bring the back shoulder around a little bit now. Slowly, slowly come around a little bit more. Good, right there. And then a little smidget right there. Perfect. So guys, as you can see, we are now in the car park and we're gonna do the same thing that we did in there, but now we're gonna do it out here and show you how cinematic is gonna look. You wouldn't believe that we're actually in a car park. Because I'm using the 70 to 180, I'm gonna compress the shot. I'm gonna go all the way into 180 and totally obliterate the background and only Natasha's gonna be in focus. And I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, I just love that. Little tilt, yeah, right there, right there, right there. Hold up for me, perfect. Gorgeous. That's that's that. <laughs> that's the money shot. <laughs> So let me know which setup was your favorite setup and if you try this setup or any of the setups also let us know in the comments and also share the results with us i want to say a massive thank you to natasha i'll put natasha's instagram in the description below so make sure you go check her out um but yeah to enjoy it that was quick and fun right really good yeah exactly but yeah thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one